This was the moment many in Japan thought the nightmare might start again. Another powerful earthquake shook the exact same region already devastated by one just a few weeks ago. And just like then, a tsunami alert was issued soon after. But this time, fortunately, there was no onslaught of rampaging seawater. Fears then turned to several nuclear power plants in the area and the already crippled facility in Fukushima. Officials were quick to reassure the public that the situation was under control. There's been no power or running water here since Thursday evening, but communities are determined to help each other through the best they can. Now, this supermarket found a way to stay open to keep supplies available to consumers in need. I want to buy vegetables and snacks for my children, but I don't know how much I'll be able to get. There are similar scenes in neighboring areas, many still in shock from the night's tremor, but refusing to be trapped by fear. Since there's a lot of people affected by the quake who aren't giving up, I also don't plan on giving up. So the reason for me opening the store today is that I saw all the other stores were closed, and since I figured people would have trouble finding food, I decided to open. In evacuation centers, hundreds of thousands would have passed another restless night. But this, their worst yet since the deadly quake and tsunami on March 11th. They've barely been able to make sense of how they ended up here. And just as they were looking forward to rebuilding, the last thing they needed was a reminder that the only certainty they have is that nothing is for certain. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Misuzawa, Japan.